Welcome everyone, it's Abdallah here, and I wanted to give each and every one of you guys an update on how to properly EV train your Pokemon in the newest installment of the Pokemon series, X and Y. Not familiar with what EVs are? Well, they're effort value points that a certain Pokemon gains from defeating other Pokemon. For example, each Pokemon has a hidden value max cap of 510 EVs total, and each stat, HP, Strength, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, Speed, can have a total of 255 EVs in that particular category. They all have to add up to 510 in order to be a legal Pokemon. So, in a nutshell, if you're trying to max out the attack and speed of a Pokemon, you'll need to consistently and painstakingly fight a whole lot of Pokemon for EV points. For example, if you KO a Ghastly, he gives you plus one EVs in Special Attack. And if you KO a Zubat, he'll give you plus one EVs in speed. Of course, there were items that helped along with the process, like a Macho Brace and Vitamins, but imagine how long that took. You know, without those boosting items, you'd have to KO hundreds of Pokemon in order to max out their EV spread. Luckily, those days are over. Let's take a look at what is different in Pokemon X and Y. There's a new regimen called Super Training. In this program, you'll be able to precisely choose which EVs you want to gain and gain them in a way that's fun and super quick. With Super Training, you can essentially max out your desired EV spread within around 30 minutes and not have to battle a single Pokemon. To begin with, all you have to do is locate your Super Training in the bottom screen of the 3DS. If you're playing it for the first time, you'll want to unlock all of the Super Training levels. It takes some uh, practice to get used to, but after you defeat all of the balloon Pokemon, you'll have you'll be a pro in no time. All right, so there are three levels in total, and a pro tip: if you're still unlocking those levels, do it with a Pokemon that you don't mind the mess up in the EV spread. <laughs> Just saying, not like yours truly went through and <laughs> used his Fennekin at the beginning of the game and unlocked all the trainings and got unnecessary EVs or anything. All right, so. All you have to do is simply choose the stat that you want to play a level 3 minigame in order to earn 12 EVs in that particular stat. Every minigame has a goal limit that you want to aim for. It's a time that you want to beat. If you defeat the balloon Pokemon within that time limit, you'll be rewarded with bonus training bags. Every stat has three type of training bags that you could potentially get. You can get a small one that gives you one additional EV point. You can get a medium one that gives about four and you can get a large training bag that gives 12. So, if you're quick to beat a Pokemon and you can score you can score a large training bag and essentially double your EVs for that training session. Simply equip the specific bag on the certain Pokemon and tap it a couple times until your Pokemon uses a super move on it. All right, so let's do some quick math here. So, it takes about 252 to max out any stat, right? Or 255, depending on how you look at it. Let's say you're playing Super Training Level 3, and you ace it in order to, to get a large bonus training bag. That's a total of 24 EVs per 2-minute session. If you complete 11 2-minute trainings, you'll end up with a max stat in about 22 minutes. If you're maxing out another stat, it'll take approximately the same time with a total of around maybe 45 minutes. Plus, the more you play these minigames, the better you'll be, and you'll be able to complete them faster. So, you ask what happens if you accidentally use the wrong training or gain the wrong EVs? Like previous generations, there are still the berries that allow you to erase your EVs. But as you walk around throughout Kalos, your Pokémon on the bottom screen will randomly find a special bag. Now, there are tons of special bags out there, such as double EV points on the next training if you use it, and the infamous reset bag that allows you to completely reset your entire Pokemon EVs. So, with that being said, go out there and find some rare training bags and raise your Pokemon the way you want to. If this guide has helped you understand what super training is in Pokemon X and Y even more, please feel free to leave a like, and if you think that I missed anything, also feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you're looking for some Pokemon Y action, look no further than my channel for an ongoing Let's Play. We are uploading episodes as fast as they are made, so I'm sure you'll love daily uploads. Looking for someone to battle with? Check out my Pokemon X and Y friend code exchange video. There are tons of Pokemon trainers who would love to meet up with you for a quick trade or even a battle. 
Don't forget that on the weekends, we will be doing Pokemon Y live streams where I add friend codes and battle and trade with people right in front of the live YouTube audience. The last stream we had was so awesome. Go check it out. In order to stay updated with all things Pokemon Y, click that subscribe button and join the Abdala Nation. See you guys later.